morning, Nature Nuts. I am pleased to announce that today's activity is a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt? A what? <laughs> I've written up a list of all the fun items you'll need to find to complete the hunt. Awesome! Yay, great! For example, you may have to find something that is green. So, what would you look for? Green leaves! Green grass! Flower stems are green! Yeah! Exactly! There's not one right answer, but many. Now, I'm going to split you into two teams, and each team will be assigned a team leader. Oh, I like it! No. Sounds good! <laughs> it will be the team leader's job to come up with a plan and keep you all working well together. It's not a race, but you will get a sticker for every item you find on your list. Awesome. And later on, you can stick them in your Nature Nuts books. And now, for the teams. Bear, yeah. fox, awesome. snail, yes. and rabbit yeah, yeah, will yeah. make up one team. Okay. Cool. Fox, uh -huh. it's your turn to be the leader. Sweet. All right. That yeah. means our other team is Franklin, Goose, and Beaver. <laughs> and your team leader will be Goose. Huh? Oh. Really? Me? You want me to be the leader? Are you sure? Yes, Goose, it's your turn. It'll be fun. You can do it. You'll make a great leader, Goose. And we'll help you. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Very good, Goose. Now, let's all say our Nature Nuts pledge. Winter, Winter summer, summer, spring, and fall. We love nature, one and all. We're the nuts. We're the nuts. We're the nature, nature nuts. Yay! <laughs> Let's get started, Nature Nuts. Remember to stay close to each other. I'll be nearby if you need help. Follow me. Wait up, wait up. This sure is a long list. Uh huh. Something shiny, something hard, something wiggly, something red. It's gonna be so fun finding all these coolio things. Yeah. Yeah. Where should we start? Just like Mr. Owl said, the first thing a leader needs to do is make a plan. Everybody knows that. A plan? Right. Plan, plan. Mm. Got it. We've got to find lots of different kinds of things, right? right? Right. So since we'll be searching different places that are spread out, then we should spread out a bit too. Great idea, Goose. If we spread out, we'll be able to find more stuff. Yes, and save time. Well, yes. Kind of, but it's not that exactly... Oh, mm. I know. You want us to spread way out. <laughs> no, I want you to spread out, but not too far. We get it, Goose. You don't want us to go too far and get lost. Well, yes, but no, actually... You can count on us. We'll be back soon with loads of stuff from the list. Let's go, Beaver! Yeah! Oh, no! That's not what I meant. <sighs> okay, let's see now. Um... Oh, dear. <gasps> yes, something red. Gotcha. <laughs> this way, everyone. <laughs> Keep together. Oh, hey, guys. Howdy. Hi, Franklin. Hi. How's it going? Great. I found two things on our list, a red leaf and a shiny stone. Where's the rest of your team? Goose split us up so we could find stuff faster. Huh. Fox gave us all different jobs. I'm in charge of the basket, and Fox has her list. Uh-huh and I'm holding Snail way up high. So I can be our lookout. Great. So far, we've got a wet lily pad, sweet smelling flower petals, and some wiggly worms. We'll put them back when we're done. Wow, you guys are doing great. Hey guys, I see some moss. Really? Isn't something soft on our list? Hmm, yes. Good memory, Snail. Let's go, team. Yep. See ya, guys. Bye, Later. Bye, Bye. See ya. Goose, fever. I can't remember what else is on the list. Franklin, Goose, hey guys, anyone? Beaver, Franklin, you. Where are you? Hello, team. Kids, you just missed each other. Huh? Right there, behind that tree. Goose, Franklin. <laughs> team Goose, please meet at the hollow tree. Oh. Okay, Goose. Hey, there you are. Huh? Guess what, team? I found two things on our list. I found two things, too. Oh, so did I. Ta-da! Something red and something shiny. Oh, no. I also found something red and something shiny. Mm. Mm. Red flower petal, 
with shiny dewdrop on top. We all found the same thing? That means we've only completed two items from our whole list. Oh no. Mm. Sorry, Goose. I guess going off on our own wasn't a good idea. But I know that, Franklin. That isn't what I meant for us to do. It isn't? But you said to spread out. Yeah. Yes, but that wasn't my whole plan. I was trying to say that after we spread out over one area, we could split up, but... Split up the list? Um, of course. If we split up the list, we wouldn't be looking for the same thing. Smart thinking, Goose. It is? Are you sure? Here you go, Thanks, Beaver. Franklin. And for you, Goose. Um, well, I guess you've both been leaders before. So if you think this will work... I've got something round on my list. That one's going to be easy. Hmm. I've got something light. That's going to be a hard one. Yeah. We'd better get started. Um, guys... I'm not sure that us all having different lists is such a great idea. Sure it is, Goose. And it's all thanks to you. You made the plan. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, um. Mr. Owl, being the leader is nothing like I thought it'd be. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty hard to get your team to listen to your plan. Being a leader can be challenging, Goose, but I'm sure you'll make it work. Maybe you need to stand your ground a little more. Tell them what you really think. Hmm. Huh? Yeah! Got it! Yeah! Awesome! Oh, brother. <sighs> I can't find anything light. Hmm. Hey! Aha! Yes! Feathers are definitely light. Almost. Almost. Aw. Wait! Hold it! Get back here! Oh no! Hey! Oh, come on! Gotcha! Hey, Beaver! What are you doing? I'm getting you something light for our list. One of these maple seeds. Ah, got it! <laughs> Beaver, I was supposed to find something light. It's on my part of the list. I know that. I was just trying to help. But I already have this feather. Now we've got two of the same kind of things again. How was I supposed to know that? Besides, Goose never said we had to only find things that were on our parts of the list. If that's not what she wanted, why did she tell us to split up the list? Um, I didn't actually say that. Huh? You did. Mr. Owl made me the leader of the team, and you two said you'd help, but I never got to finish explaining my plan. You both kept interrupting me with your own plans. We did? Uh-huh. You're right, Goose. We did. Oh. That explains why we kept getting the plan wrong. Yeah. We weren't listening to it. Gosh, it's true. We're sorry, Goose. I guess we got so excited trying to help you lead that we weren't really letting you be the leader. And now we messed up the scavenger hunt. We hardly have anything on the list. Well, the game isn't over yet, so listen up. Absolutely. Yes. Here's my plan. We take one area of the woods at a time. We split up, but all go in the same direction and stay close enough to call to each other. When any of us spot something from the list, we'll signal the others with a loon call, like this. That way we cover more area and everyone knows what everyone else is doing. And that's my plan. Wow. Brilliant. It is? For sure. Yeah. It is. Let's get going, team. Got it. Beaver, you hold the list. Okay. Franklin, you're in charge of the basket. Yep. Now, let's see. We already have three things that are red, three things that are shiny, and two things that are light. Uh-huh. That leaves something fuzzy, something with an interesting shape, something green, something pink, and something smooth. Let's go. OK. Yes. Find anything that was tall. Until Rabbit said, 
trees! <laughs> <laughs> and even though it may have taken some time for a couple of you to learn to listen to your leader, in the end, you all worked wonderfully together. High five! <laughs> so, it is with great pleasure that I announce everyone has earned their stickers. Yes! <laughs> Mr. Owl, our team wouldn't have earned our stickers if it hadn't been for Goose. Absolutely. Aw, thanks, guys. We found out that Goose is a great leader. With really great ideas. Beaver and I just need to listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think Mr. Owl knew that all along. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Misty Lake. We made it to the campsite. Of course. My dad's an expert at finding campsites. He could do it blindfolded. <sighs> Well, I was pretty sure the site was close by, but even I can't do it blindfolded. Well, my dad can put up a tent in ten seconds. I can? Well, it seems like ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We'll set up camp right over there. Let's do it. <laughs> Coolio. Oh, awesome. Look at the fire pit. Can we have a big campfire tonight, Dad? Sure. Shellback is a campfire building wizard. I'm not bad, if I do say so myself. Foxy. Foxy? Shellback? <laughs> Those were our nicknames for each other when we camped as kids. I was Foxy, and Mr. Turtle was Shellback. Neato! Whoa. All right, campers. First, we'll get the campsite ready so that we can pitch the tents. And then, go collect firewood for the campfire. All right! Awesome! Oh, huh? there's one last thing that we need to add to our to-do list. Eat Mr. Mole's s'mores. Uh, we wouldn't want to miss that. S'mores? Mr. Mole? Yes, we asked Mr. Mole to join us. He'll be along after he closes up his shop. Mr. Mole likes camping too? Oh, yes. When we were kids, Mr. Fox, Mr. Mole, and I camped all the time. Even then, Mr. Mole knew great camping tricks, like how to keep your pack dry in the rain. And how to make veggie shish kebabs. Wow. Really? <laughs> but Mr. Mole could never beat Mr. Fox at finding bugs. Right, Foxy? Shh. Sounds like a cricket. <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah. Good one, Dad. Off you go, little critter. My dad also knows the spookiest campfire stories ever, like the one about the woodland widefoot. Scary. Ah, but nobody knows more about plants than shellback. Wait. Do you smell that? Huh? <laughs> Ta-da! Wild mint! We can add this to dinner. Wow, your dad is amazing. I wish I knew how to spot cool plants. Yeah, my dad's been teaching me that. But I'd love to be able to catch bugs like your dad. Dad's been showing me how. It's awesome. Hey, your dad knows stuff that I want to learn, and my dad knows stuff that you want to learn. Why don't we switch dads just for the camp out? Great idea. What do you think, Dad? Sounds like a wonderful idea, Franklin. Let the dad and son switch camp out begin! Phew! Well, the campsite looks almost ready. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's the woodland whitefoot. <gasps> My word! Hey there, Mole. Hello. I got lost a few times and fell into Misty Lake. But I finally made it. Now let's get camping. <sighs> there. Almost dry. This kind of thing always happens when I go camping. <laughs> like the time you got stuck in the mud. <laughs> or got your back caught in a thorn tree. Walloping whiskers. I almost forgot. Mr. Snail wanted me to give you a message. The Woodland Fire Department's hose has sprung a leak. Uh-oh. <laughs> that could be bad. I should go and have a look just to be on the safe side. I'll fix that leak in a jiffy and get back as soon as I can, kids. Bye, Foxy. Hurry back, Foxy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mr. Fox. Bye, See everyone. you later. I just thought of something. How can we have a dad and son switch camp out with only one dad? Why don't you team up with Mr. Mole? Yeah, that's a great idea. Why, I'd love to be your partner, Franklin. All right. Yep, just as I thought. This is arrowroot, Fox. It'll make dinner extra delicious. 
awesome, Mr. Turtle. Coolio. Arrowroot, eh? Well, I'm sure I can find something tasty to add to our dinner, too. Great. Hmm. Look here, Franklin. A foxglove flower. Um, sorry, Mr. Mole. It's just a fox. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, Mr. Mole, look! Do you know what kind of bug this is? Hmm. Can't seem to make it out. Nope. Still can't make it out. Um, well, never mind. <sighs> I'm sure Mr. Mole must know some cool camping trick, right? He must. My dad said that he does, and my dad knows everything. Time to set up our tents, campers. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. Fox, we'll set up this one. Franklin, you and Mr. Mole can set up that one. We'll have ours up in no time. Great. Now, what is this thing? Sorry, Franklin. I've never pitched a tent like this one before. <laughs> Now that's what I call working together. Cool. Franklin? Can I help you, Mr. Mole? Oh, yes, thank you. Okay, let's see if we can uh, pull this thing uh, up. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, our tent's almost uh, up. <laughs> You're just supposed to pull this. Oh, my. <laughs> The poles just hold up the tarp. See, Franklin? I told you we'd have it up in no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing like a good firewood hunt to get us hungry for a big cookout. Uh-huh. Firewood. Firewood. Hmm. Must be around here somewhere. Whoa Are you okay, <laughs> Mr. Moore? Oh, yes, Franklin. Whoa! Oh. 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 Hey, look, Fox. A pine tree. You can tell because it has needles instead of leaves. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds like uh, Fox is oh. learning some Coolio stuff from my dad. Well, uh, would you like to spend some time with your dad, Franklin? Oh, uh, maybe, if it's okay with you. Of course. Come on. How about if we change partners for a while? Um... Franklin would like to spend some time with his dad. That okay with you, Fox? Sure. Mr. Turtle has been teaching me about pine trees. Yep. Want to see me find one, Mr. Mole? <laughs> of course. Lead on and keep a sharp eye out for pine cones. <laughs> Learning lots from Mr. Mole, Franklin? Well, not really. You know so much more than he does. Oh. Can you teach me some more about trees, please? Sure. Is this one the pine tree? Yep. See, it has needles. And it's so tall. Don't worry, little tree. Maybe someday you'll grow big like this pine. No, hang on, Franklin. That bush is called red cedar. It's small, but it grows for a long time. I bet that little bush is older than this big pine. Really? Uh-huh. And smell. Mmm, that smells great. Fresh. People use it to make their home smell nice. And the berries can be used to make medicine. Coolio! I didn't think this little bush could do anything, but it can do a lot. Well, let's get that firewood. Okay. Huh? Look at all the birds. <laughs> Peanut butter and pine cones make the very best bird feeders around. <laughs> awesome. That bird feeder is great. Where'd you get it? Mr. Mole made it. He's did? Yep. That's a great camping trick. Can you teach me how to make one, Mr. Mole? Hey, what about me? I thought we were partners now, Mr. Mole. <laughs> how about we all work together from now on? Who wants to help me with the fire? Oh, me. Come on, then. Want to help too, Franklin? I'll stay with Mr. Mole. He's going to teach me how to build a bird feeder. All right. Say, Franklin, the birds are fed for now. So why don't we work on feeding us campers? OK. Come on. Now I need your help. Sure. Can you find a moth with red wings? I'll try. Hmm. Nope. Let's see. <gasps> red wings! Mr. Mole, I think I found it. Oh? You sure did. That's a hummingbird moth. There it goes. Ooh. That way. Ah, it's landed. Good. Know what the hummingbird moth likes best? What? Blackberries. Oh. Now get picking. We can make yummy blackberry shakes for dessert. 
Hey, Mr. Mole, you really do know a lot about camping. You're just like a red cedar. Oh, why, think? What? You can do lots of stuff. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Here we are, everybody. Thanks. Ah. Ah, delicious. Who's up for some more arrowroot s'mores? Me, me too. Yes, please. Mm. Look, a full moon. Oh, yes. Too bad my dad's not here. He could tell a spooky story. Do you know any spooky stories, Mr. Mole? Nope, but I know a real story you might like. Yeah. Let's hear it. It's about two explorers, Radishes and Grosbeak, and how they discovered woodland. Now, let's see. A long time ago... <gasps> oh, no! What is it? <gasps> the Woodland Whitefoot! Uh... <laughs> no! <coughs> hey, everybody. Dad! Hello there! What did I miss? Mr. Mole was telling the story of radishes and grosbeak. Great! Pass the s'more, Shellback. Here you go, Foxy. Dad, if your nickname was Shellback and Mr. Fox's was Foxy, what was Mr. Mole's? Back then, we called him Trix. <laughs> That's perfect. Because Mr. Mole knows the best camping tricks of anybody. That's right. Yeah. Oh, shucks. All right, Trix. Let's hear that story. <laughs> you got it, Foxy. A long time ago, before there was a woodland, there were two explorers. One was called Radishes, and he was tall and strong. And his friend, Grosbeak, was smaller. <laughs> 